Hi everyone, this is Sherita Holland. I'm a fourth generation Montanan and recently got back from working on the family cabin in Melrose, Montana. It's hard to believe it had been closed up for 15 years. It was our grandmother's cabin, a small 133 year old log cabin typical of the early west when mining towns sprung up overnight. Melrose is an old railroad town that served the mining activities in the area. Our grandmother loved going to Melrose and taking the whole family. She used to tell us stories of her childhood and take us up in the Pioneer Mountains where all the old mining towns were. Her dad hauled ore out of the Pioneer Mountains for the Hecla Consolidated Mining Corporation down dirt mining roads from Hecla to Glendale with a wagon and a team of horses. Glendale was the smelter town six miles west of Melrose. It is where our grandmother grew up, later moving to Melrose where our mother grew up, and eventually to Butte. She and most of three generations are buried in the graveyard overlooking Melrose. We grew up in Butte, 30 miles north of Melrose, the notorious mining town known as the richest hill on earth. Our dads were hard rock miners. They worked underground setting rounds of black powder or dynamite and mucking out. We loved spending time at the cabin and our dads loved fishing the Big Hole River, world renowned for its fly fishing and not 300 feet from the cabin. Most of my generation moved away from Montana, seeking gainful employment and starting careers. Even though it was never my official career, I've always been an artist and Montana the co-creator. Throughout my career, I returned to Montana whenever possible to sketch and paint. Towards the end of my career as an interior designer, I moved to Southern California where my daughter, her husband, and two small children live. After suffering through the worst housing crisis in history, I retired in 2010 and moved to western New York to live with my son and his wife. I help care for their three little girls. Now that I'm retired, my dream is to spend more time in Montana, to have the family congregate for the summer at the cabin, to take up my paintbrushes and paint the wilderness, vast openness, and breathtaking beauty of Montana. The perks offered below are from watercolor paintings I did around Butte and Melrose. Quoting John Muir, wilderness takes you beyond your human existence to become one with nature and the universe. Also offered is a handmade art book titled, I Love to Wander Down Mountain Roads. Now the bad news and why we're in desperate need of your help. The cabin was way worse than we thought. Everything we tried to do turned into a major problem. Instead of getting anything done, we left the cabin torn apart, unable to do the work as planned. Our first goal is to fix the foundation and north wall. The fireplace was pulling away from the cabin. When we took it out, the opening had no structural support or framing, and under the concrete slab below, everything was rotted and washed out. Please help us save the cabin and preserve a piece of Montana history. It is beyond our means and must be addressed immediately. Without your help, we fear the cabin will fall in and have to be torn down. We want our children and grandchildren to spend time at the cabin, embrace wilderness and the great outdoors, and come to know and hold dear the legacy of their forefathers. To have peace, fortitude, and a sense of belonging. It all depends on you and your generosity. We want to thank you in advance with all our heart and hope to someday welcome you to the cabin as a friend and benefactor. If you are unable to contribute at this time, please share it with your friends and family so more people are aware of our need. Or you can visit us at our website, mountaincabinstudio.com. Thank you for your time. We deeply appreciate anything you can do.